For 10 years, I was on a patriarchal program for women to become infertile, polycystic, and somewhat fucking mental. <laughs> and before we go on, being on the pill or not does not affect your feminist credentials. You could take any hormone and have any genitals and have any amount of feminist potential. But for me, it's feminist. It's physical. It's sexual. It's emotional. Because the pill made me more fuckable, but it didn't make me want to fuck anyone. <laughs> the pill made me numb to orgasm. I thought coming was something I had to look like I'd done. Because I was raised with too much estrogen and really bad depression. And now, scientists in Copenhagen are saying this is really happening, but nobody does anything because it's happening to women. So I stop taking it, and I get spots on my chin, and I lose a bit of weight. They say I'm looking a bit thin. But I start to feel like I could finally win. My depression lifts, and I hold joy within. But my body resists as my mind untwists, as if my psychic liberation consists of so much mintness, my body gets pissed. My ovaries grow cysts. Diabetes, cancer, strokes, now I've got a higher risk. Infertile and all, at least I never wanted kids. The doctor said we can alleviate the physical symptoms if you go back on the pill. <laughs> Great. Well, now I've got to choose between my body and my brain. But if I go back on the pill now, I could go back to being insane. Each day filled with inane sadness. A buildup of hormones culminating in madness. And that blandness, that powerlessness, I've got access to this. This joy and this bliss. I cannot go back to it, so I let my body be sick. My body. My body that was already a problem. They said, periods are a disease that we got because we've fallen. They've been shaming bleeding since Eve got we kicked out of Eden, keeping us concealing our fluids and our feelings. So no, nah, I'm not on contraception, but I've got my reasons. And it's not just my body that's sick, it's our society needs healing.